What's up YouTube, this is your man, Big B Production 100. I have an awesome video for you guys today. Today in this short video, I will be showing you guys some of the cool things that's inside iTunes and of course iOS 7 because I know a lot of you guys and females out there already got it and I know you're probably updating right now as we speak. I'm still updating iPhones like crazy. Just got home from the Apple store. Long day, but let's jump right into it. Okay, I have my iPhone connected to my Mac here. As you can see on the right hand side, and we're gonna bring over iTunes, like so. Now I'm gonna make this video really quick. Let's jump into it. Inside iTunes Radio now, if you guys open up your music app, like so on your iPhone, when you're listening to a song, they have a little star that you can click on and you can add that to your wish list. Let me show you how that works. So we're gonna click on, uh, I guess, mm, Katy Perry here. We're gonna click on that. Okay, now that's playing, but I'm going to turn it off because I don't want YouTube to, you know, crack down on me for playing some music or whatever. So, okay, as you see, the song started playing. Now, let's just say if I wanted that song, and if you click the little star here, you can add it to your wish list, like so. Now, when you go inside iTunes, you can go into your music, then you can go into radio, and if you just click on the iTunes store, like so, you'll notice that you'll have my wish list in here. And for some reason, I don't see Katy Perry, so let's just go back. Let's try that again. Okay. Okay, remove from wish list. I guess it takes a while to update. It shouldn't take too long, but you get the hang of it. If you click a song on your iPhone or your Mac or whatever, vice versa, it goes into your wish list. Now, these songs I added a couple of days ago, and they updated pretty fast, but... That's pretty much what's new inside iTunes here. We're going to go back to my iPhone. I want to show you guys something else. Again, just to show you up here, you also have a star up here in the left-hand corner. So while you're listening to your music inside here or whatever, it's the same thing. You can just click on the star and those songs will be added to your wish list for a later purchasing through the iTunes store if you wanted to purchase that song. So that's really cool. I like that. And of course, that's with iTunes Radio once you update. Now, if you click on your iPhone in the left-hand corner here, you'll see that you're presented with this under apps. It's all new now. Now you can adjust your home screens and everything. It's pretty cool from medium to small to large. I like to keep mine fairly large, so that's pretty cool. If you wanted to install an app, now what you can do is you can just basically take that app and just, let's just say if I wanted to add my jump rope here because I like to work out a lot. If you just drag it and drop it, it will then just install itself. Only thing you have to do is just basically click apply like so it will then sync and do its thing let me cut my iPhone back on here for a second uh oh you guys just seen my password it's cool I'll change it <laughs> now but basically that's how you can now install your applications on your iPhone you can just basically just drag and drop them and it's pretty fast um, you can now stroll down to check out your new stand and everything you can add more windows if you like or more home screens you can still move the applications and everything around you just have to double click on that screen and then you can just drag it around if you want to drop it on top of another application to create a new folder you can you can actually even name that folder so if I wanted to name this folder you know for my photos like so you can just do that and then just click enter so I'm just going to delete that that's pretty cool we're going to take that and drag that back out but that's how you can now add folders and again what's cool about that is if you create these folders here like so what you can do is when you create your folders let me show you you can now have more than just basically one screen with inside a folder so basically you can have multiple pages inside one folder this would just be one page my first page but if I had let's just say 20 applications inside this one folder here I can add them to many different windows so that's pretty cool I like that as well we're just gonna take these back out now most of the time when I organize my iPhone here I like to just do it on the computer here itself or whatever cuz it's a lot faster versus you know using your fingertip and it's, it's, it's pretty fast you know so we just want to take that and drag that out like so let me go back here and just drag this over and drop it like so and that's how you can now 
play with your iPhone on your iMac or MacBook Pro, whatever it is you guys have. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, I just wanted to make this video quick and short on how you can play with your iPhone here on your iMac and, you know, just tweak around with some of the cool stuff that they have added inside iTunes radio and your iPhone with the new iOS installed on it. So this is your man, Big B Production 100. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll let you.